Hey guys, this is Mellow Modesty on YouTube, and today I wanted to review for you guys the second arc of Jeff Lemire's New 52 Animal Man. Um, this starts at issue 7 and goes through 11. And after this arc is the big crossover everyone's been waiting for, Rot World. Animal Man meets Swamp Thing. So, um... Anyways, this arc picks up right where the last arc ended with um, Buddy Baker, Animal Man, and his family going to find Al Alec Holland, the Swamp Thing, because he, they need to find him to protect her. And I basically just spoiled the first arc for you but I am expecting that you've read that if you're watching this video. I won't spoil this arc. The most I'll do is spoil issue 7 and maybe 8, but only the beginning of it. So, anyways, um, they're going to find Alec Holland, and they're just on this road trip, and they all get separated, and just crazy stuff ensues. Um, it's a little bit slower of an arc. Not slower by there's less action, just slower by less gets resolved. Like, in the first arc, you find out a lot about the world of the Red, and you find out a little bit about their family. Um, <clears throat> but in this, it's it sort of just feels like the first arc felt like it was establishing the characters and what a first arc should do, but the second arc just sort of feels like a build-up to Rot World, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, and this is still my favorite superhero comic coming out right now, but just a little bit slower. Um, so I guess I'll start by opening up issue 7 for you guys and showing you what sort of happens. Um, cover has Animal Woman on it, and this issue sort of deals with, um, deals with their family, like most of the issues do, and I guess you guys are seeing all the advertisements, but none of the cool pictures, so they're on this road trip, and you sort of see how the world is reacting to the rot taking over. Which is, of course, not good. Um, Animal Man's got his leather jacket back. Woohoo. Yeah, rock on. Um, and then he has this dream where... This is a great picture, by the way. He has this dream of what will happen if he doesn't protect his daughter, who is basically, like, the catalyst of the red or the, uh, Guardian of the Red. And so, and he has a dream of what will happen if he doesn't protect her. And the rot takes over. And the rot monsters just always look so cool. Here's a picture of Animal Woman wearing Buddy's top and Alec Holland as the swamp thing. Um, Yeah, this is a good issue. This is a great issue, actually. And then you realize it's just a dream, which I'm sure all of you already knew. And then it goes into Beast War. Um, good issue. Shows some cool stuff. Like with the rest of the arc, it's really just build up and just like a uh, warning to Buddy Baker of what will happen if he fails his journey. And so, the art is good, as it always is in these Animal Mans. It's actually really good. I like it more than the Swamp Thing artwork, that's for sure. Still would have... I, nah, I, I'm happy someone else is drawing it. I don't think Jeff Lemire would, would really be a good fit for Animal Man. His stuff is a little too, um, independent, indie-looking, I guess. It was a bad description, but whatever. Um, 
So, I guess onto the cover. Basically, all of these issues have great covers. This is a good one. This is my favorite cover in the Animal Man series. Next, or right up there with number one. Just a fantastic cover. This is issue eight, by the way. Issue nine has a great cover. Issue ten has a great cover. And then issue eleven has a okay cover. Um, it's a good cover, just not as cool as the others, in my opinion. So, one thing that I sort of find funny about this series is we're in 11 issues. And Buddy Baker has only worn his costume in the first issue for maybe five, six pages. And I don't mind that at all. I just sort of find it funny how a superhero, just how superhero comics have progressed where superheroes don't even really need to wear their costumes anymore. Um, one thing I really like about this series that Jeff Lemire does a lot is it's about family, and I wouldn't really even say that this superhero comic is about superheroes. It's about family and how Buddy Baker... Um, how Buddy Baker's family works, and it's also about, like, the red and just this metaphysical world of life. And I just, I like that. I mean, I love superhero, I love superhero stories where it's not really about being a superhero. It's about all of the consequences and about how the rest of their life works. Um... Yeah, that's really all I have to say about this series. Covers are great, writing's great, artwork's great. Really pumped for Rot World. Um, favorite superhero comic coming out right now. Great characters. Uh, love Jeff Lemire's writing. Everything I've read that he's done is superb. And I would really recommend getting on this series. Um, might be a little late now, but... With the Zero issues coming out next month, you could at least pick that up, and uh, it would sort of tell you about how Animal Man, or how Buddy Baker became Animal Man. Um, yeah. This is Mellow Modesty, Animal Man, second story arc. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and have yourselves a fantastic weekend. There will be no pull list this week because, in my opinion, nothing good came out. Next week, however, there's going to be like six, seven, maybe even eight books that I'm going to get. Great stuff's coming out next week. So look forward to that. I'm going to see if I can do a pull list next week on Wednesday. If not, look forward to it on the weekend. So, guys, see you later.